Hello, John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor. Uh, we're in the Cold Spring Orchard. Today is May 5th, 2006, Cinco de Mayo, the day the Mexicans drove the French out. But we're also, as you can see, coming into bloom here in these apples uh, in central Massachusetts. The weather's nice. It's in the 70s. Uh, light breeze and we've got sun. So we've got good pollination conditions. However, uh, I've used a technique for several years now, quite some time actually, of blowing some pollen onto these trees. Particularly here, for example, these Johnna Golds. Um, we've got a good portion of the King Bloom open um, to get that King Bloom pollinated and set. Also, um, using the supplemental blow on pollen is a good idea. Um, if you've got a small orchard like this and you don't want to go to the uh, trouble of having bees brought in or the weather's very bad. And what we're going to use is pollen from Furman Pollen Company. Furman Pollen is out in uh, uh, Yakima, Washington. There may be other sources, but that's where I get my pollen from, is Furman Pollen. And then we're going to use a, a leaf blower apparatus here that's been modified with a, a blower. The leaf blower, pick that up at Home Depot or whatever, uh, with a blower tube that was also bought from Furman Pollen. And we're going to put the pollen in here, and we're going to blow it on these trees. Now, a couple points is you want to keep the pollen cold until you are ready to use it. Um, having a light breeze to help blow the pollen into the trees is a good idea. And you want to, again, apply it when the trees are, uh, the majority of the king bloom is open, up through full bloom. Get those king blossoms set. That will help you with thinning later and assure that you have a good crop particularly useful in these tight plantings. This is a super spindle at two foot spacing um, where it's fairly easy to blow it on. Um, not as practical in very large orchards. Um, Furman Pollen also has a pollen insert that you can put in your honeybee hives for that purpose. But for small acreage, um, these high density plantings, this application method is ideal. So we'll fire this up and I'll show you how it works and we'll be right back. So that's all there is to it. Uh, now I gotta get the pollen back in the, the freezer. But before I do that, quickly I wanted to show you uh, this orchard where, if you remember last fall, we treated this with um, uh, a formulation of 2,4-D from Helena with a lower, uh, lower odor. Uh, we used a gator and a single nozzle applicator. And if you notice looking down these rows, um, we've got no dandelions in the orchard. Um, as opposed to if we look at another orchard that wasn't treated with 2,4-D, um, you can see the dandelions. Now your honeybees, your pollinators, prefer the pollen from the dandelions versus your apple blossom. So if you can get rid of those dandelions during bloom, the bees are going to be up in the trees, you got better pollination, uh, better fruit, and higher fruit set. So I think it's a real important practice that we need to get in the habit of doing is getting rid of these dandelions so we don't have them in the spring. So, John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor. Until next week, we'll hope for some good weather during bloom. Beautiful time of the year to get out in the orchard. Enjoy and take care.